Be no black, folks. How's everybody doing? Anyway, check out what they don't want you to see. Okay, and it's the triangulation and the flopping out there in outer space. And we got lucky today because let's take a look at what they're hiding from you and see why they do block. Because you're going to see they block real big and then they had a little block. This this is ends up being what they use to block on some stuff. Check this out. Hang on. And this is not, uh, they come up with some stupid ass excuse about, uh, here we go. There you go. Uh, the latest image, and there you go. And here's that blocker. Okay. Now I haven't taken and twisted the shot around, and I don't know if it works out where that's where the blocker's at. If you twist this shot of the sun around, and that's what everybody has to realize, folks, is that er every once in a while they can pull a fast one. As much as they block stuff on us, and too, they could end up being that this here could be actually be. Hang on. You know, it could be here. You know, and that could be the blocker over there. So, they're not going to always be totally legitly honest about it, especially when we don't have uh, some sort of uh, object, right? You know, like Saturn, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, or something to really show us what's going on. So, we got this, and then we got, since I have it blown up, we're sitting here at 625%. You will see this here. Boom, 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 boom. All this here flop around. Okay, this here too. Check this. See the circulation, the circular. Okay, not perfect, but it does do some wild stuff up there, folks. And it's over. There's also over here, here, here. There's like a three circular and actually a four because if you figure, if you can figure out what these other ones here are back there. So, and there's also, there was a movie, let me get to it real fast, hang on. Okay, close object near Earth today, folks. Here you go, here's the data on it. And I'll go to the shots in a second, and I'll, I'll go and show you this movie I want to show you real fast. Hang on. But remember, you can freeze and go back to this data. All right, I want to throw a big thanks out to BeforeIt'sNews.com or whatever the heck it is. You can look it up. It's Before It's, before it's News, folks. Uh, there's some hype in some of the stuff that they put out, you know, because they don't have time to go through. They used to be really, you know, like, well, let's get to the truth and stuff. But now anymore these days they get so overwhelmed with what they have to put out that, you know, like, at least they show you this good truth, though, you see. And I'm going to go to this, uh, these sites here, and we're going to see. Remember we had that Thursday and a long time ago. You'd have to look the data. But remember when they had the news conference and they lied to us about the asteroids being close by? Oh, yeah. They're not close. Okay. And then even what I'm talking about is you got to watch spin. And, and guys over at uh, beforeitisnews.com, I love your stuff. But there's sometimes when I read some through some of your stuff, I mean, I would do the same thing. I would try to get some people like, you know, hey, let's check this out because sometimes there's some stuff a little off the edge. So anyway, but great, great, very good channel. And here you got that 21, and I'm not sure if that's exact, and it could actually be closer. But see, this is hella close, folks. Okay, and then a lot of people are putting it off that the idea, well, it's just a smidgen almost close to the uh, – it's going to be pretty darn close. Uh and now let me get to the movie that I was talking about, and that's another one that the idea that, but it's going to be like from the History Channel. They got the a bunch about one, two, three, four of Nibiru or something like that. Hang on a sec. And basically, right here, NASA tells on itself, folks. I mean, they got on there that one Thursday here within the last two months, uh, and here we go. And they're keeping an eye big time on YU55. Yeah, it's going to be close. And all of my videos and a lot of people's on the internet videos has been this idea that hey this stuff is hella closer than it's ever we've you know in ages you know in our and probably going to be in our lifetimes and stuff like that so why aren't we having kids look at this stuff you know and then the idea that they're always scared of everybody freaking out well if everybody freaks out they freak out so the truth people that can handle the truth are much more trustable than people that are just like little chickens and and put their head in the sand and all that crap like that. So here we go where the idea that they're keeping a very close eye on it and, and I'm not trying to put any fear in anybody in anything like that but basically they uh latest news on asteroids and near earth objects and they uh do all kinds of talking about it and I also had a guy hang on I'm going to have one of the guys the comments hang on Here's more, and you know we talked about Vesta, and, and there was really heavy winds that day. The Vesta, and a lot of people had the solar flares that time, and uh, you know they're uh, you know all the stuff's close by, and they're talking about it. If you really research their data and stuff, 
and their pictures, latest articles and everything like that. But they get it uh, on the TV and the boob tube, and that's why we call it the boob tube, and tell everybody, though, there's not anything really close by. Now, we're over here at uh, spaceweather.com, and I'm not going to, you know, I just basically, we're sharing, and I have the disclosure, and we'd love these guys to look at it. They give you everything that's going on, folks. They give the conditions, x-ray, solar flares. They talk about the solar flares coming around. And back when we had Vesta come by, we uh, basically had the power go down in a lot of places all over the world. Uh, there were spikes, okay? And then also here, take a look. And actually, there, you, if you research and look at the latest uh, NASA stuff, they'll sit there and tell you that it's 400 meters. It's not just 200 meters. It's bigger than that. And more than likely, it's probably bigger than the 400 meters. So believe who you want to believe. And basically, you go back to these sun shots, and you'll see this. I mean, you got to remember, folks, that the sun is probably within this here, okay? This is all flare from the sun, even around this part of the disk here. So the idea that realize how humongous these objects are, even if it's just this, how humongous that is. Because the idea that Earth isn't even that big, okay? Uh, research sizes, okay? And then research the size of what the hell they're covering up right there, okay? And then also, is this Mercury here? Because uh, if I remember right, I think Mercury, is Mercury one of our small ones, folks? I lose track a little bit, you know? And I'm always really honest about how I state, state it to you, too. I'm going to go look it back at, you know? I'm not going to waste time looking that up right now. Okay, now let's look also. And then uh, straight up here from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, they want you to forget about uh, NASA says Comet Ellen and Gone should be forgotten. You know, they don't want anybody to keep an eye out in space right now. They don't like people looking up there. They think it's just a private little thing for them. Now check this guy out, Yeoman. And if anybody's Navy, uh, any military, you know what a Yeoman is. All right. So let's go check what he's got to say here. And and then this right here is just straight out the asteroid watch. Okay, asteroid Q&A, uh, Ustream, and everything like that update, YU55 update, and the people at uh, beforeitsnews.com. And basically, here we go with this guy, because basically it's cool to be looking at what we were looking at. Because it's the hip thing. Everybody's talking about it. Uh, and everybody's a chicken shit. Everybody's hush hush. They don't just come out. It's like in the TV shows, we're doing it a little bit on it a long time ago. And yeah, the stuff's way out there, far away. But it has affected. And there you go. You got this here stuff possible origin of asteroids and moons and stuff like that. And that History Channel, you go to beforeitsnews.com or whatever, you'll be able to research it out and find it. And those guys got a real good one. They got the four part series or something like that. They rebuffed up of a certain channel that's on the boob tube and I don't like that certain channel anymore because they're rebuffeting and re rewriting the history books every day with that film and bullshit. So the idea that uh, some of the history that they show and go through is and but now it's a lot of hot air sometimes folks. So uh, you can check this dude out uh, Don Yeomans and yeah that's why he's got a name like that folks. Yep. Uh, no. Yeah his family just thought about that years ago folks. Yep, thousands of years ago. Yep, mm -hmm. all right. So anyway, I mean, they're just flat out admitting that the asteroid belts, uh, you know, the way they talked out of their ass and sideways and everything like that basically admitted everything that's out there. And everybody should be uh, be astronoming and looking at the sky right now and seeing stuff that you're never going to see again in your lifetime or your kids and you're going to see again. And the idea that all this should be recorded and so that we don't get these airbrushed crap that you get off of uh, uh, sky Google Sky and, and off the telescope and stuff like that, because that's all, uh, you know, it's all propagated stuff, just like the History Channel. And I'm telling you, there's blowing smoke up your butt. So the idea that you want to see real pictures that haven't been touched, okay, not computer generation and stuff like that. And the idea that you got to remember on this circular here of the idea that what they're showing you on uh, YU55, the idea that when you go and research that, you got to remember that we have Oricus that's coming around, and basically it's probably our second moon, ladies and gentlemen. And I think it's going to be here in 2019. It's going to be real close. And basically, forget landing on the moon and screwing around on the moon or Mars. Well, no, everything we should be out there trying to land on anything we want to and everything, especially with drones and stuff like that. But if anything, and they want to do some wild and build up hype and get some new kind of thing or something like that or this duct tape and all this crap. Let's get the economy going and everything like that. Let's land on Oricus. It's going to be hella close here pretty soon, folks. 2019, it's coming. Oricus. Okay? And Nibiru is out there, folks. And yes, what have they been lying to us about, folks? Is Oricus Nibiru. 
And we know how close it's all this stuff and matter is out there. And, and idea, folks, we got dust for a reason. It just doesn't come from us here on Earth and the wind blowing. We get asteroid material every day, hundreds of tons. As a matter of fact, if you research this guy and read these articles and go back to what he was talking about, you will see him tell you the truth about that. Asteroid attack. We get stuff every day. All right, and then he goes through it, and everybody's all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, astronomers are important people because the idea that they have somewhat of an idea what's going on. Otherwise, they still, you know, it's all eyes. You look up there, and you and you read data back about sizes and stuff like that, and then they don't tell us the truth. Okay, here's the latest of the sun. We'll blow it up a little bit. Uh, this is from the backside. Uh, We'll also show you, let me stop it for a second, and I'll give you, uh, and as you can see, you'll see this triangulation and flopping that they have right behind it, and also here, and here, and let me freeze it and give you, okay, 8 p.m. Central Time tonight, folks, this is your star chart, okay, pretty sure this is Jupiter, and it should pop up on there, I haven't even looked yet, but yep, you can tell, because Jupiter is so humongous, okay, and so far away. And yes, that makes moon look big because idea of the moon's close again. It's been coming back to us. And if you go to my Beano Black channel on YouTube today, folks, we will go ahead and so you can check out these constellations. That'd be north. And that's starting at 8 p.m. tonight. And that's pretty much uh, North America should be right here, folks. You know, right in the dead center of this Earth shot here of the constellations going on. So we're going to have some heavy earthquake action coming across over Europe. And North America here, as you can see, some of the big super giants out there and big stars way out in space are coming over. We're getting the heavies. A very heavy belt here. Heavy, heavy here. Heavy here. Okay, let me freeze it. Okay, real fast today, folks. Here's stereo behind. Remember, you flop this around and go the other way, other direction. Stereo ahead, H1. And if you take a good look at this, you're going to see some massive, and as you can see there, massive objects in space. Super giants material. We're going to move down here, and I'm going to go through this one fast here and slide over, but you'll see the dates and the time. Because this one, and then the idea that you see they're only showing you part, because the other one is behind. And now check it out. They're only showing you so much because they don't want you to see. There's a head. See, they're cutting it in half. They don't want you to see, okay? Don't need any excuses that they give either that, though, we have a problem getting data and stuff like that, okay? Look at the humongous rack of rocks. The super giants, folks. The super giants are around the sun like you would not believe, folks. Look at the massive size of these objects out in space. It is humongous out there. They make the sun look like a little peon. Okay, well, we're going to move up and check it out. There's one of the supergiant suns bleeding through on the backside. Because this is behind, I believe. Yep, behind H1. And this is today. And there you go. And you can see some more of the supergiants way, way back. And the supergiants are very, very, very far apart from each other, even so that they're in that supergiant's main sequence. Okay, so there is some humongous stuff out there in space, folks. Check that out right there. Look at that. Look at these big ass boulders here, okay? And then we go over here, and I'll go one more time and give you the view. Look at this. Look at that stuff, okay? And there's the sun, and then check out, and that's behind, thank God, okay? Because the idea that the sun has been in the supergiants for quite a while, but here's behind H2, and we're going to scroll down slowly so you can see. And I'm not trying, I mean, you can pick out anything you want here and just realize how humongous that stuff is. And just check these rocks. <laughs> I mean, these things are like, oh my God. You imagine what that there big cluster there is? I mean, that's like probably a sun of who knows how many billions of years ago that blew up or something. Or some massive planet like Jupiter that could just, it was obliterated at one time. Look at this. And then I'll move up and you'll get an idea because that, I mean, basically there's the sun, folks. And there's these objects out here in space, okay? And there's that possibly could be that cluster. But then again, really, that's not really true because then if that's behind H1, and they're saying that's behind H1, then who's behind and who's up whose butt? Yeah. So we know the truth, folks, okay? So just keep on checking the pictures out and let the truth bleed out by looking at them and comparing and just... Now, this could be, I don't know. 
that you know Jupiter's not close to the sun today. You know, you've seen the night, the evening PM shot. So the idea that we know that that's anything like that, Jupiter's not even close to that size. Jupiter's like an eighth of that size right there. Okay, and that's the sun over there. Okay, so that's a supergiant way back. Disclaimer. Disclaimer.